Hi, my name is Rusa, and are you also struggling with uh, CK3 amazing long loading screens? 15 to 30 minutes, it takes forever. But I have a few solutions. Uh, I've been searching a little bit, found on Reddit, etc., CK3 forums. One way to ma make this work, and so it's a little bit faster, you have to go to, go to Document Paradox Interactive Crusader Kings 3 save games and they're loading all your old saves and this will take a while so mark them and delete just keep the last few uh, ones or you know what we will take all of them there we go because it's uh, going through all of your save files and that's one thing that will uh, keep your loading screen taking forever. Tip number two, have you installed it on your SSD? Uh, if you have a little bit older computer, it's quite popular to have one SSD hard drive and one HDD hard drive. So you can go and check, is it actually installed on your SSD and not your HDD? So that can also screw your game up. So go and, go and take a look before you continue. Right click on Crusader Edit Kings 3, pro Properties, Install Files, and Verify Integrity of Game Files. This won't take uh, too long, and we will see if this will help as well. But according to Reddit and the different CK3 forums, when they did check uh, the integra uh, integrity of files, it helped. And still, have you checked if uh, you have installed it on the HDD or SDD? SSD, ah oh, shit, my fault. We will do this. Ah, I have a different uh, color on my shirt. So this is Vuz from the future. And so yeah, I had some background uh, noise on the, this part, so I had to redo this part. But mods can also make your game slow according to the Reddit forums and the CK3 forums that I checked. So you can go to your mod library. And I had tons of other mods here. Almost took all of them away. Some of them also have this warning. It uh, have the wrong version of the game. But uh, we can get rid of the rest of them by pressing three dots. We could choose to open in Steam Workshop or in a folder. What I did, I went to Steam Workshop and unsubscribe. This works, you are getting rid of these by going here, showing uh, Steam Workshop and unsubscribe. So that's how you get rid of your mods. You can also choose playset. No mods, standard, normal, Do you, uh, which one are you using? But one of the solutions was get rid of all your mods and then verify your game files. I did verify my game files first and then get rid of my mods. Made the game crash. <laughs> so you can do better than me. So get rid of mods, verify game files after that. So now we have verified my files, did get rid of a few mods. We did also delete most of my save files and left like two, three and no, mo no mods selected as well. And when we did uh, delete the, the what, what's called mods, the game had to do some installing and verification before you could launch the game. But it didn't take long, like two minutes. So yeah, let's see, will the game crash or take 15 minutes, 30? Let's see. And best of luck to all of you. I will be right back with you. So what is the verdict, uh, everyone? Well, it worked. I didn't tell you in the beginning, but uh, my starting uh, screen or loading screen was like 25 minutes. And I didn't delete all the mods, just uh, all of them that was not con uh, compatible with the ver game version. I did leave uh, three to four saves. And uh, what they recommended was to get rid of everything. I went down from 25 minutes to 10 minutes. Uh, like, uh, this is a lifesaver. So, 
I I did crash though. <laughs> so I, what what I would do it differently is I would get rid of the mods first, then verify my game files. I would do in that order because I think something wonky happened. So if you're doing this, this is something you should do. So if you haven't done it, uh, verify game files, delete the same files, and delete your mods. And after you've done the save files and the mods, uh, you, you could verify your game files after that. Uh, some people have recommended to reinstall the game after you've done all of that. It doesn't make sense, but you could even try to do that. But double check, is the game saved on your SSD instead of uh, your HDD? Because there were so many comments uh, on Reddit and CK3 forum. What? I have... Uh, played this game on an HDD hard drive for three years. So it's an easy mistake. But yeah, if you're new to the game and you're starting out with the, with the new expansions, welcome, my name is Fusa and I have made a tremendous amount of guides and I also live stream CK3 on Twitch and YouTube. So sit, sit down, relax and let me know down in the comments what you think. and. Do you want to see me play live on uh, Twitch or YouTube? Let me know down in the comments. Thank you.